How do you do, g Pot crew? It's your naughty body potty here, and may the 4th be with you. And happy Star Wars Day! And to celebrate the holiday today, we will be going over all the current Star Wars cosmetics in Fortnite. Now, this would be for every Fortnite item shop cosmetic, as well as anything that was unlocked through challenges or through the Battle Pass. So, as a Star Wars fanatic, I made sure to acquire every single Star Wars item in Fortnite which these items will be available in the Fortnite item shop in celebration of May the 4th. So as a fan of stores, I have one request. Please head on over to the Fortnite item shop and please use my supporter credit code PUTTY when purchasing any of the Star Wars, Wars cosmetics in Fortnite. Now, let's get started with probably one of the most popular characters in Star Wars, the Mandalorian. Now, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to do it based on my presets. For those that aren't aware, I like to set up presets for all my Star Wars characters. So I'm going to go through each one and go through the items I best thought either work with it, they didn't have the item, or what items go with them. And then after that, we will go over the items I did not utilize in any presets because I thought, well, they didn't work in the way that, that I would want to as a Star Wars fan. Or in general, they might have been just awkward. And I'll explain it to you when we look at that point. So, first character we're going to go over is the Mandalorian, a.k.a. Din Djarin. Now, this skin was a Battle Pass skin, I think, for I mean, Chapter the, the 2, Season 5 or 6. I don't remember the season. I've actually just forgotten it. But um, it, it is a skin that actually came with a bunch of challenges from the Battle Pass where you would have to actually get the Beskar armor unlocked. So, you can see here the Beskar armor would be unlocked, and you had to do a bunch of trials, things of that nature, but with that being said, then we move on to probably one of the greatest things about this combo, and that is the child, a.k.a. Grogu, a.k.a. Baby Yoda. Now, he has two little animations where, one, he's actually sipping from the little soup bowl or playing with the little knob from the the gear shift in uh, the Razor Crest. So you see here he's actually doing a little cup thing, and this is actually like a back bling pet that also has a motability which we'll get into in just a second. All right, next we have the Vibro Scythe. Now, this is actually not a Mandalorian weapon. This is actually a, a something that goes with Kylo Ren, but unfortunately they could have al allowed us to maybe get like the Beskar Spear, but they didn't, which I felt would have been a great pickaxe form, but unfortunately we didn't and we didn't get a pickaxe with the Mandalorian. So. With that being said, I decided to go ahead and put the Vibro Spear as his item since it's the closest thing to a spear that he would use. Next, we have the Razor Crest. Now, this is the vehicle that Mando drives around in, or flies around in, I should say. It is a pretty cool glider. It definitely has a very Star Wars vibe to it and is a perfect addition to the Mandalorian set. Now, next, the thing I want to talk about is this emote. Now, this is actually an emote called This Is The Way. Now, this is actually not his emote. It actually came with another character that we're going to talk about a bit. But I felt it really worked with Mando to actually have him have this as an emote. So I wanted to go ahead and represent that. Next, we have the Hover Pram control. Now, you may be wondering, what the heck is a Hover Pram? Hover Pram is actually the vehicle that you see Baby Yoda, a.k.a. the child in. But also, it is a control so that way if you want to spin him around to face... This, this direction here, it'll actually turn around, or you can keep it turning to the back. It was a, a basic emote that you really didn't need, but I felt it was, you know, pretty cool to mention that there was a built-in emote. And then, of course, we have the Mandalorian's helmet signet as the banner you see right here. That actually is one of two banners that you actually get with the Mandalorian in that season. And then, of course, he has his own loading screen. Now, the loading screen is... Um, honestly the only Star Wars loading screen we have in Fortnite. So I definitely reuse this a lot. And when I mean a lot, every single Star Wars skin has this on there. Honestly, it was the only one we had, so I had to go ahead and put it on there in this preset. But with that being said, let's go ahead and check out the other Mandalorian, and that would be Boba Fett. Okay, so for our next skin, it is the Boba Fett skin. Now this is the Boba Fett from the Book of Boba Fett series on Disney+. Plus. And so it doesn't look exactly like the OG one from the, uh, the original uh, uh, trilogy, the OG trilogy, 4, 5, and 6. But it is nice to have Boba Fett in Fortnite as a skin 
character. And he actually came with a lot more than Mando did when it comes to items um, outside of a few things here and there, which we'll explain. So the first thing you get with him is his back bling, which is, of course, the jetpack. Now, again, this is actually the... Uh, this is actually the Z6 jetpack that he has here. Next is the Gaffy Stick. Now, he got these from the Tusken Raiders be becoming part of their tribe, and they ended up making him his own Gaffy Stick. And it is cool that he has this Gaffy Stick. I've actually thought about putting this on the Mando preset because it has more of a spear look. But then at the same time, it just it fills out a place. I feel like the Gaffy Stick goes directly to Boba Fett or a Tusken Raider if we ever got one. Next is Boba Fett's ship. Now, you might be wondering, what the heck? You're calling it both a ship? Why are you calling it both a ship? Well, that's because they changed the name. Unfortunately, with Disney owning Star Wars, the one thing they didn't want is to keep the name, original name of this ship. Now, the name of the ship is called Slave One. Now, the reason it's called that is because in the canon stories, a.k.a. outside of the prequels, uh, pretty much, uh, they actually explained that he was actually a slave that actually ended up training to be a Mandalorian. So it's a little bit sketchy uh, when it comes to that name of the ship, and I can understand why they wanted to change it, but just calling it Boba Fett ship seems very tame and boring, to be honest with you. Next is the emote, This Is The Way. This Is The Way is pretty much the Bo Boba Fett's emote when it comes to um, Fortnite and Star Wars. Next, we have the targeting computer online. Now, this is actually the... Uh, the site or the targeting system he uses for his rocket that you can see from his backpack. So you see that little missile on the top? This is what he uses in order to aim that missile, whatever target he wants it to hit. So it's a pretty cool emote. I just wish maybe they would have had the rocket pop up in air and maybe just not hit anything, but it'd just be cool to see. And I had to go ahead and mention that since, you know, it is one of those things that's pretty cool. Next, we have the Mythosaur signet or emblem or icon, however you want to look at it. And this is actually the Mandalorian uh, signet that's used. And this is actually gained by Mando. But if you look, it actually works perfectly with uh, Boba Fett. Especially since if you look at Boba Fett, he actually has the signet on the side of his armor. This is actually a Mandalorian crest that all Mandalorians use. So it, I figured since the Mando item got the helmet, we put the the uh, mythos Mythosaur signet on the side of his outfit or uh, as his banner to complement the rest of his preset. Now with Boba Fett, the next thing we want to talk about is another ally in the Boba Fett series, and that is Fennec Shand. Now Fennec Shand is another character from the Book of Boba Fett series, and she's actually played by the actress Ming-Na Wen, and she actually is a pretty awesome looking skin and an awesome character to boot on the Book of Boba Fett series. Actually, a pretty badass character. I'd love to see her get her own series. Unfortunately, she didn't get much of the way of anything cool. Her back bling, I will be going into that later because it's part of one of those back blings I feel does not fit the character and I will explain that later. But then as far as her weapon, there was nothing I could think of more than the Vibro Sith. Now, this, the Vibro Sith, I mean, it actually is again a Kylo Ren weapon, but I felt like it would work perfectly for her. And you will see that happen a lot when it comes to the weapons I, I choose for them. But the biggest thing would be her ship. Uh, this is actually called the um, um, Fennec ship. That's pretty much that's it. So same thing, Fennec ship. It's basically um, a very um, nice looking ship that looks like something from Star Wars. I like it personally. I don't use it as much unless it's on her but it does have a very nice, clean look. Unfortunately, it's, it looks better as an actual ship instead of an actual glider lines. Just like Boba Fett, we have the This Is The Way emo emote, and of course, that same signet, and of course, loading screen, which you might see a lot of that happening over and over again. Next, we're gonna get to Kersantan. Ah, the Wookiee Kersantan. Now, Kersantan, I actually decided to add some items that were already to it. So with him, he came with one of those odd back blings I was uh, uh, talking about before, which we'll look back at later. And I did end up giving him Daryl's Knives from the uh, Walking Dead series because I felt like they fit him way more when it comes to him. I mean, he'd use his hands more, which we'll get to that in the emotes. But then I also gave him the Y-Wing. I, I didn't have a vehicle for him, and I felt like the Y-Wing would be the only thing I could see closely him having in the s series. And I wouldn't see him see with the X-Wing or any other character ship. 
So I just ended up giving the Y wing. Then of course he does have the same emote as um, Boba Fett and Fennec Shan and Mando, which is this is the way emote. And then I gave him the dark side one because I figured this seems like something he would do as far as choking someone in the neck. Same thing as well with the signet. And then of course the loading screen. Again, only loading the Star Wars loading screen we have. I hope we get more. With that being said, let's get on to the Imperial Stormtrooper. Next, we have the Imperial Stormtrooper. And this is probably one of the most cleanest Fortnite skins ever. I love this skin, and I'm so happy that it actually was one of the first skins you actually got in Fortnite. And I think you got it through also through Battlefront, too, as well. So um, it was like a bonus addition for that. So it was pretty cool to be able to get that, that kind of stuff early. But I kind of wanted to do something different. See, if you remember, there are First Order Troopers, and since there's no weapon for the Imperial Troopers, I decided to use the First Order Troopers weapon, and that would be the Riot Control Baton. Now, this is actually looks really cool when you wield it with the um, Stormtrooper, and it actually is um, something that, that works with the emo I will be showing you in a second. And then for his glider, I went ahead and gave him the First Order TIE Fighter. Now, onto the emo that actually goes with something. Now, the emo is called Traitor, but there's a reason why I also put on, even though that little emo there might be something that Finn would do, but let me show you guys why. So when you're actually using the skin and you're using that pickaxe, if you do the emote, you'll see that actually puts them together and you actually see the physical pickaxe doing the emote. I'll do that one more time for you guys. Which I think is pretty sweet. One good thing is, is today for May the 4th, uh, May the 4th uh, holiday, aka Star Wars Day, they gave us challenges that unlocked a new banner, which is the Imperial Signet you see right here. Um, I actually unlocked this yesterday. I was actually happy because now it goes with the Imperial Stormtrooper that basically I feel didn't get as much love when it came to accessories, but it's still nice to have it, and it's still nice to have the banner to go along with it. And with that being said, let's go on to the Sith Trooper. Next, we have the Sith Trooper. This is one of Emperor Palpatine's troopers, and he actually does have his back bling to go with it. Now, his back bling is actually the Sith Trooper Blaster. And like I said, when it comes to back blings, I'm one of those ones, if it fits, I will add it. Though it does float, and I hate when it floats, I just figured, you know what, it is Star Wars, we can deal with the floating on this, but the gun is actually one a Sith Trooper used, and it looks dope sitting on the back. So I can just imagine him reaching to his back to grab this. And also, much like the Stormtrooper, I decided to go ahead and continue with the Relic Control Baton, the same thing with the First Order TIE Fighter, the emote to go with the pickaxe, which of course doesn't show it here, but it will show it of course here. And then, of course, I decided to go ahead and keep the First Order banner that you, you get. And, of course, the old Mando loading screen. We need more Star Wars loading screens for Fortnite. Anyway, but that would be the Sith Trooper. On to the next character, which is Kylo Ren. Next, we have Kylo Ren. And Kylo Ren is actually one of the most coolest skins, actually, in my eyes. So... The first thing that you'll notice about it is that it actually has like a cape and cowl. Well, this actually has to do with the cape itself. So if you go over to the cape, you'll see it's an actual separate attachment. But if you go to it, you get two options to the cape. You can either have the hood up or go over and have the hood down. And this actually is a feature only available to the cape, only available for Kylo Ren. Anybody else, it's just going to look the same. There's no difference. So it is something that I wanted to point out. Then, of course, you have his vibro side. This is actually his pickaxe. Let's move on to the TIE Whisper. Now, so it's really cool, and it's a perfect ship for Kylo Ren in my eyes. Then, of course, we go to the dark side emote, which is actually his emote. He's doing a force choke, and that's the type of thing this character would do. And then last but not least is his banner, which is the Sith signet you see right here. And that just works perfectly. It's Kylo Ren, he's Sith, he gets a Sith signet. So that's what you see for his banner. And with that being said, let's move on to Ray's skin. Now, Ray's skin is absolutely my favorite skin so far. Well, kind of, until we talk about something later. 
But I, every, every, everything, I love everything. The only thing is, I wish you can put her hood up, and they didn't allow that as an option. I wish it would have given us another style for, you know, Star Wars Day to let her put her hood up. But I can't complain. Next, we have Ray's Quarterstaff. It actually works with the emote, which was actually a challenge. So I'll explain everything about that when we get to it. Next is the Millennium Falcon. Now, this one is cool because it was actually free to everyone during not last year's Christmas, but the, the, the Christmas two years ago, I think it was, or no, a year ago. Either way, we got this for Christmas under the tree um, on Fortnite, and all you had to do was open it. Unfortunately, if you did not get this during that season, you unfortunately will never be able to get this because this is no longer available. This non-item shop item. This is literally a free item that you got. And it's the only way, way you can get it. And I mean, you're missing out a lot not having the Millennium Falcon. Next is Jedi Training Emote. Now, this is actually the emote I was talking about. So if you don't, uh, let me show you something real quick that, that's a very ingenious. If you remember, I showed you the Stormtroopers um, uh, pickaxe, which was called the uh, Riot Control Baton, and how it worked with the emote. Well, same thing with this. This emote was actually, uh, you could get this through challenges, but the unique thing is this. If you actually equip something else, like let's give her the Viral Scythe, you'll see she can still do the emote, but now it's just see-through. You see that? So now it's just like a hologram projection that she's moving around. But then, of course, if you have her pickaxe on and then do her emote, it'll actually use the actual pickaxe. So that's pretty cool. And then, of course, we have the resistance thumbs up, which was actually something you can get in the item shop. And I think this is actually Finn's emote, but it kind of works with her as well. Um, and then, of course, we have the Jedi banner that you can see here and you could use. And um, did I mention we only have one loading screen, the Mando loading screen? Fortnite, we need more loading screens. That being said, let's move on to Finn. Next, we have the former Stormtrooper turned resistance ally, Finn. And Finn is actually um, one of the cool characters that I did actually use the right control baton because he actually does do this whole thing in the movie. Then, of course, the Vanguard Squadron X-Wing was added into the item shop actually at a later date separately from all the items so i feel like finn was perfect for this item since uh we already have the uh the millennium falcon with uh ray so i figured kind of like bo dameron maybe give him the the the, 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 the x-wing because it kind of fit that situation and of course just like before he gets the trader emote to use with the pickaxe and the resistance thumbs up and of course he also gets the resistance banner which I didn't really use on much characters aside from him and one other one. And that other character I was referring to is Zori Bliss. Next, we have Zori Bliss. And Zori Bliss is actually a character a lot of people don't even know who she is. They didn't see the last movie or even cared about her. So this is one of those skins that barely anyone bought. And honestly, I don't think it's returned since then. Uh, actually, uh, well, until today. I think it's actually returning today. Uh, for May the 4th, so you can actually get this skin now, which, by the way, if you are going to get this skin, please use my support credit code, putty. <laughs> and then, of course, you, I attached the Viral Scythe and the Y-Wing to her, as well as the Thumbs Up and the Resistance Banner. And again, you can start to see where I'm starting to reuse a lot of stuff with the characters because they didn't have anything genuine with them. Which also brings me to a few things that you may not be aware of when it comes to some of the items you can unlock. And some of the items I just felt were tacky. Now for this portion of the video, I want to use Ray as an example of why some of these things that you got were bad. So with that being said, first and foremost, with, when it comes to Star Wars, during the Mando season, we did get two emoticons. Um, the first one is called The Child, as you see here. And then the next one you got is called This is the Way. They're cool, but I barely use them. And then of course there's the spray called The Protector. Again, these are all cool items. In my eyes, nothing to really get excited about. But the next items are the ones I honestly just don't like, and I'll explain why. Now, as stated before, I talked about items in, uh, in Star Wars Fortnite a series that I didn't like. And that would be all, and I mean all, of the holographic backlinks. So let me explain to you why I don't like these. Several reasons why. One... In the real world, who exactly would be wearing this on their back? Just having a floating hologram. Now, of course, I'll go through each one, and then I'll explain to you why one of the reasons why I do not like these. So if you look here, we have the um, uh, First Order uh, 
emblem here. Then we have the Hut clan symbol. Then we have the Mythosaur signet, the Jedi Order symbol, the Resistance symbol, and then the Sith symbol. Now I'll use these. Uh, I'll use this one as example. You see here it's actually being used, but I want you to look at the back of her uh, her item or her um, uh, robe. Do you see something odd about it? Here, let me show you without the item on. All right. So if you look at her uh, her uh, clothing without the item on, look at her hood. You see the hood that's in the back of her, uh, her outfit? It actually sits, you know, like a regular hood would, just kind of offset and dangling there. Well, here's the situation about the hologram. So using Ray as an example again, if you put one of the holograms on, as you can see here, it flattens that hood. That just looks weird. Why even do that? And at the same time, it's not like the hologram's literally sitting on top of it. It's just floating. So basically this thing is pushing her hood down. Honestly, all the hologram ones are quite tacky and horrible. And I don't know why they ended up making these. And there you guys have it, every single Star Wars cosmetic in Fortnite. Now remember, every cosmetic outside of Mando and a few other things are available for you to purchase in the Fortnite item shop. And if you are planning on buying any of the items in the Fortnite item shop, then please, please use my supporter credit code, PUTTY. That's P-U-T-T-Y. Simply P-U-T-T-Y. And as always, I am PUTTY with the G-Pot crew, and you know what we do. We celebrate Star Wars Day with you, and may the 4th be with you.